Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is a very popular film, and there's a number of reasons for this. One of my favourite things about this film is its amazing art style, blending a comic book pop art aesthetic with 3D animation. The artists who worked on this film worked incredibly hard to bring this story to life by carefully handcrafting each frame. I wanted to show you what you can do with free video editing and visual effects software, so join me as I take a leap into the Spider-Verse. Hello and welcome back to another HitFilm tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create this Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse style effect inside of HitFilm Free. The first thing I did was search through ArtGrid's amazing stock footage catalogue to find a shot that I wanted to use. If you want to learn more about ArtGrid, then check out the link below. If you sign up with that link below, you'll receive an extra two months for free on any annual plan. Once I found a shot that I wanted to use for this effect, I downloaded it and imported it into HitFilm. Of course, you can use any footage that you want, I'm just choosing to use ArtGrid footage. Once you've imported your footage, you want to create a composite shot out of it. I'm named this composite shot Effects, because this is where I'm going to be building up the bulk of the effect. As this effect is going to be procedural, meaning that you can change the footage at a later date and all of the other effects will upgrade to match it, or update to match it, you want to create a composite shot out of the footage in the effects comp. I made a new comp and called it footage, and after doing this, head back over into the effects comp. If you look at a reference frame from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, you'll see that in the highlights of the frame, there are some dots, and in the shadows, there are some lines. I've included in the description two free assets. One of them is a dots asset, and the other is a lines asset. In order to add these into your footage, you're going to need a luma mat to control where the dots and lines appear. To create this luma mat, duplicate the footage comp, and then make a composite shot out of it, and then name it luma mat. Once you're in the luma mat comp, you want to create a new grade layer. On this grade, add a tint effect, and increase the amount. This will then make it black and white. To create more contrast between the highlights and shadows, I added a levels histogram effect, but you could use a curves or another similar effect. And then play around with the input black and input white sections to create really high contrast. Then head back over to your effects comp. Then you can hide the luma mat and drag it below the footage. If you're enjoying the video so far, then please feel free to leave a like and also subscribe, as that would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, back on with the video. Now to actually add the dots and lines, you want to import them into your effects comp timeline, and then apply a set mat effect. Set the source layer to the luma mat, set the mat source to luminance, set the blend to subtract, and then hit invert. This will mean that it only appears in the lighter areas of the luma mat. In order to remove the black background, you could add a demult effect before the set mat. To better blend these dots into the frame, you can change the blend mode of the dots comp to soft light, and then also play around with the opacity if you really want to. For the lines, you do a very similar thing. So import it into the timeline, add a set mat effect, set the source layer to the luma mat, set the mat source to luminance, and set the blend to subtract. To remove the white background from the lines, you can use a different blend mode. So I'm going to use multiply. As you can see, this has created quite a noticeable change. So decrease the opacity to make it more subtle if you wanted to or you could use a higher opacity for a slightly more dark graphic novel look. To add a drawn outline around different shapes in the shot, duplicate the footage and rename it outline. On this outline layer, then you want to add a find edges effect. In order to control how this effect works, you can add a curves. I placed this curves below the find edges and then just played around with it until I got something that I liked. To stop the lines from being multicolored, you can add a tint once again. It's becoming one of my favorite effects at this point. <laughs> and then add that on top and increase the amount. To remove the black background, you can add a demult effect. And to make the lines black, you can add a fill color effect. 
and then change the color to black. In order to play around with the strength of this, you can adjust the uh, curves. So I'm going for a slightly more obvious look for this. So I'm just going to create a bit more of an S curve. And then you can re-enable the other layers. And then to finish off the shot, I created a grade layer and just added a hue, saturation and lightness effect to it to increase the saturation to make it pop a little bit more similar to how uh, the film has some quite poppy colours. And then I also added some chromatic aberration similar to that seen in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. If you're using HitFilm Free and you want to add some chromatic aberration then you can follow a tutorial I made on how to do that. That tutorial is linked in, on the card on screen and also in the description down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then please leave a like and subscribe as that would be greatly appreciated. And if you've enjoyed the music in this video then check out Artlist using the link in the description below. I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.